Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter, and today we're going to be going over the top 20 most expensive video game plush that have sold on eBay recently. Um, a few things to know before starting to sell video game plush. One, there is a lot of counterfeits out there. Um, for example, this Mojang. This is uh, an official Mojang Minecraft plush. There is a lot of these out there. And if you actually list uh, a fake one on eBay, they will come after you really fast. Um, you can see this is uh, an official Mojang Jinx uh, tag. But if it said made in China or something like that, make sure you don't list it. Or at least look and make sure that it is not a fake one because they will come after you. Um, these things you can see, they're super easy to fake. It's just... <laughs> A little bit of threads there and a few threads there on the bottom. It's it's not a hard item to fake. Um, but Five Nights at Freddy, there was a ton of those fakes out there. Super Mario Brothers. I mean, because plush, because video game plush sell for so much money, there is a lot of fakes out there. There is this guy right here. I just found a bunch of him on uh, in China on the China. Well, it's eBay, but then the, it says from China, so. There's a bunch of fakes out there. Uh, you can see this guy um, has an official Clash Royale, which is a video game tag on it. I have bought and or purchased and sold him many times over. He goes for about $100. Um, but yeah, watch out for the fakes. That's one thing to know about Video Game Plus. The second thing is the DLC. There is content on a lot of these plush, whether it's... Um, for PC, Xbox, PlayStation, there's a little code you plug into the machine and you get like an extra character. A souped up gun or different clothes for your character. And a lot of times it's only special to the plush. So some of the video game people don't even want the plush. They just want the code on it. So if you find something even in a store that is slightly open and you can see a code... That is not new. There is a person that probably already took the code and used it. So if you find something at a thrift store or a store and you can actually see the code, make sure you don't list it as new or with code because you can get a negative. People will get mad. Because <laughs> I've found uh, there's a lot of video gamers that will actually just want the code and toss out the plush or re-donate the plush. So be wary about that. Um, that's about it. Let's get right into... Um, the top 20. Alright, the first one. This is a rare NECA Bioshock Infinite plush songbird? <laughs> I don't look like any bird I've ever seen. Um, okay. Um, I've talked about NECA in the past. Uh, action figures, um, plush, anything they sell. Make sure you look it up. Uh, they are a very good company and they make very good quality toys and plush and just a lot of quality stuff uh, there you go and you can see this bird has like an x x x x on the back um yeah he's a <laughs> he's a funny looking bird all right what is next uh number 19 this is a chao chao i don't know <laughs> this is a vintage sonic the hedgehog Plush uh, from Sega Toy Japan. Uh, okay, it looks kind of like a weird octopus creature. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm not a really Sonic the Hedgehog guy. You see, it has the original tag from 1998, Sega Enterprises, and there's the other side, Sega right here. Yeah, it's some weird multicolored creature <laughs> uh, he sold for $275 next one this is another oh this is a sealed rare Nintendo Donkey Kong 64 promo barrel with plush or t-shirt so this barrel I don't know is it whether it came from like a comic-con or e3 or whatever it's you can see it says a uh, Donkey Kong 64 so that's a uh, product of the Nintendo 64 so there's like a mystery whether you get a plush or t-shirt inside so really nice little sealed guy right there <laughs> he sold for $275 plus 
5.30 shipping. So keep your eye out for, like, for this guy. Oh, that's a cool little barrel. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Psychonauts, Raz. Uh, Psychonauts 2 just came out. So that probably pushed this guy up in the, the price price bracket I should say uh, he is a bendable 15 inch video game plush uh, you can see he has well he's in this Psychonaut garb <laughs> it's a really weird game if you haven't played it uh, yeah it's well there <laughs> he's got his glasses on yeah it's a really like crazy game check it out if you haven't played it no uh, that's the that's the, the picture of him. Anyways, uh, he sold for $280 plus $14 shipping. Dr. Robotnik from uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. This is kind of an ugly plush. <laughs> uh, I've seen actual better plush. I guess this is a collectible one from him. Uh, this is a glare on the tag. I was trying to get a good, nice... Yeah, there's not really a close-up you can get of that tag. But yeah, Sega, Sony, Mario, all those, or I should say Nintendo, all those companies I could probably do a video on by themselves. Um, they have very good following and a lot of their stuff goes for some crazy money. Now uh, this sold for $300 with free shipping. But yeah, <laughs> it's a crazy looking blush. Next one, this is Rivals of Aether, Aether, Maple, I don't know. And I talked about it in the beginning, this is, says it has the Golden Skin DLC. Um, so yeah, he is completely sealed. There's no way to get the DLC out of the bag um, unless you pull him out. Oh, I guess that's the way he looks. Oh yeah, <laughs> he looks really different in the bag, but yeah. Um, He's like a raccoon that flies, I guess. I don't know. Uh, he sold for $299.99 plus $9.95 shipping. That's a lot of nines. Next one we have, this is a official Earthbound Mother 2 Chosen 4 plush set from Japan. I have never heard of Mother. I don't know what that is. But they are, looks like little tiny character family. <laughs> There's a karate guy, um, guy with glasses. There's a girl and whoever that guy is. <laughs> uh, there is a set of four and it sold for $348 with uh, free shipping. Uh, E3 plush is super hot, so make sure if it... If it has like a little thing that says E3 exclusive, make sure you look it up. Um, some of these can go for, well, you can see right here, some of these can go for some big money. E3, Comic Con, anytime they're like a limited um, run of the of these characters, um, make sure you look it up. This is some kind of a bird. Um, yeah, it's just a crazy looking bird. It's a monster from The Last Guardian. You can see it's a PlayStation exclusive toy. Uh, he sold for $349.99. Really crazy looking bird. Hey, he's looking at you. <laughs> uh, next one. This is a World of Warcraft Whelp Plush co Collection. There is a whole bunch of different ones. I wanted to show you this one just because each one of these guys can go for $50 to $80, maybe even $100. Uh, depending on which one you find uh, but if you find the whole collection like this you can see it goes for $350 plus $54.50 shipping so around $400 if you find the whole set but a good $75 $80 per character when you find them and just look for the eyes and <laughs> the eyes are pretty cool Next one I have is a uh, San EI uh, Super Mario Sunshine Mario plush. Uh, looks like it has the magnetic hands on them. Um, Mario can go crazy money, especially when he's super rare. Like I said, I can do a video just on Mario. There's easily um, 
20 plus Mario that'll be in the hundreds of dollars in plush. But yeah, I did skip a lot of Mario because it, I don't want to have a lot of just the same character over and over and over and over again um, in this video. I skipped a lot of Mario and I skipped a lot of Five Nights at Freddy, which will I'll show you a few at the top, of course. Uh, he sold for $420 with free shipping. Uh, Princess Peach, this is... <laughs> look at her face. She looks surprised. Uh, this is one of the weirder Princess Peach ones I've seen. Uh, you can see it's from BDNA. I'm not familiar with that company. Uh, but obviously the person who bought it for $499.99 is... But yeah, keep your eye out for Princess Peach. Now, some of the smaller ones can go for a little bit of money, but the bigger ones can go for some nice money. So keep your eye out for her. And the other side characters like Bowser and uh, the Bomb and everything else. Uh, this is uh, Nights into Dreams, Sega Saturn plush. It, it was a... Uh, Video game. It's a pretty old video game. I think it was only on the Dreamcast. Um, could have been another. Uh, could have been remade later, but um, it was originally on the Dreamcast, and it was just a flying game. You just fly into some rings and collect like I think there were coins or something. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they actually made a casino game out of this too. So keep your eye out for that. Anyways, uh, she sold for five hundred dollars plus five thirty shipping. And crazy little character. Next one, one of the first Five Nights at Freddy plush that I chose to show. Uh, this is Five Nights at Freddy Foxy in box. Uh, this is one of the the first run of this. But uh, keep your eye out for Five Nights at Freddy. Um, Make sure, of course, they're the authentic. They have the Five Nights at Freddy tag. Uh, but two, there is a lot of different things, whether the, the, the eyes are different, there's an eye patch, there's a button, uh, there's a dot here. There, there are so many different versions of, well, this fox, a bear. <laughs> there's only like five or six characters, and there's about 20 to 30 different versions of each one. So keep your eye out for that. Uh, this guy sold for $525 and $24.99 shipping. And like I said, I did not include all the Five Nights at Freddy because probably the top 20 would be him. Well, Mario would get a couple. <laughs> uh, here's uh, Authentic Mario Party 5 Luigi plush. Uh, the Mario Party series is crazy. Whether there's the video games, the plush, uh, toys that you find, Mario Party is just crazy money. Anytime you see Mario Party, look, he's even damaged right here. Anytime you see Mario Party anywhere on the tag, just buy it. That That's the rule. Just buy it. Uh, I'm trying to see if they have a tag. There's no tag somewhere. Anyways, uh, it sold for $560 and with damage. Monster Hunter. This is a Capcom Collector's uh, Limited Edition Plush. Uh, it probably has a, a DLC code on this guy. Um, they probably didn't say it had it because they didn't want to risk someone already opening it up. Um, that's my guess. Uh, I'm guessing the DLC is in here. Could be wrong, but uh, he sold for $629.99 with $19.99 shipping. And he's just like a sleeping monster dog. <laughs> uh, and, and they included the game. There you go. Uh, Pet Simulator X. Um, never heard of this. This is brand new to me. Uh, this is a huge cat plush and code included. Uh, this supposedly just came out a few months ago, like in June or something. Um, so, yeah. I wanted to include one of these. Well, look at the price of this guy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Keep your eye out for these, like, square little kitty cats they're wanted uh, this guy alone sold for eight hundred dollars so yeah <laughs> crazy uh, here's another Five Nights at Freddy this is Fazbear 
in box. Again, this is one of the first run versions. Fazbear, like I said, so many different versions. There's one with a button. There's one without a button. There's a GameStop exclusive one that I've sold for $100. Um, so yeah, there is so many versions of the Five Nights at Freddy plush, but they all sell for very good money. He sold for $787.50 plus $24.99 shipping. So. Here's another Pet Simulator X series. Oh, here it came out in July 31st. Um, yeah, so this is a crazy new series. Uh, I guess it's from Target, and there's that collection that you can get. I guess it's a mystery. Yeah, there it is. Mystery Treasure Plush from Big Games. So I don't know if they didn't make enough of the run or what's going on because people are paying up for these weird cube cat dog dragon <laughs> cat dog dragon things. Uh, the pre-order sold for nine hundred and ten dollars plus ten dollars shipping. So. If you can find it, go to Target, pick some of these up, see if you can flip them. Alright, we're at the top two. Uh, there is one more Five Nights at Freddy that I wanted to show you because he sold for a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, this is Springtrap from the... Oh, it's just a regular Five Nights at Freddy collection. Uh, but yeah, he has like a little scratch on his belly. I don't know, a little bit of blood or something. <laughs> uh, all these Five Nights at Freddy plush are all weird. There's the uh, original tag that you have to look for. Um, if it says made in China only, got to be wary about it. Um, this one has a damage tag, but it's still sold for $1,399 and no cents. <laughs> Last but not least, this is a rare Super Mario 64 plush with original tag. Uh, there was actually one that sold uh, from Japan that was a lot higher. It was around four or $5,000. I saw that, but it was from Japan, so I did not want to include it. Uh, but this one sold for $2,225. See if I can uh, get the tag. This is from Toy Site. But yeah. You can see Nintendo collectible merchandise. This one has the original tag. And a lot of the Nintendo stuff sells for well, ridiculous amount of money. Um, I've actually sold uh, Mario for I think it was around $399. It was a, one of the Mario Party versions. It, was a, it wasn't even that huge of a Mario. So I said keep your eye out for Mario and... Watch out for the fakes. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. Take care. See you next video. Bye.